So, good morning, myself Arun Shanmugam, uh, Assistant Professor from PSR Engineering College. Today, I am going to discussing about measured algorithm. So, that measured algorithm coming under divide and conquer methodology. So, the divide and conquer method in the sense, the large problem can be divided into smaller sub problem, the smaller sub problem um, solved separately, then we combine all the solutions. So, that is called divide and conquer method. So, from that uh, divide and conquer method, we are discussing about Mershot. So, the Mershot, so the given list, so for example, So, that is a given list. So, the list having 8 elements. Okay. So, this is an unsorted array. So, here now we are going to discussing about. So, now we are split into 2 halves. So, first of all we split it into 2 halves. So, here 1, 3, 8, 7. So, the second half have 9, 10, 12, 14. So, 2 half. So, again the list is very large. So, that is why again I splitted that array. So, 1 and 3, 8 and 7. So, here again the list is right off also. The list is very large. So, 9 and 10. So, here 12 and 14. So, again, so the list is again it is large. So, that is why splitter that array each element separately. Now, we do the merge. Okay. So, compare first of all compare these two elements 1 and 3. So, the 1 is smaller and 3 is larger. So, that is why we merged that 1, 3. It is now here. So, we compare with 8 and 7. So, 7 is uh, less and 8 is large. So, that is why we can be sorted like that. Okay. So, now the left off the left off we are sorted all the numbers. So, we combine these solutions. Okay. So, the combined solution is 1, 3, 7 and 8. Similarly, do the operation in write off. Okay. So, here 9 and 10 as it is correct. So, 12 and 14. So, that also correct. So, here we combine these solution. So, 9 and 10, 12 and 14. So, similarly, the write off also we combine 9, 10, 12, 14. So, this uh, these two array is separately sorted. So, now we move on to using the axillary array. So, the second array will be used. So, the second array will be the empty array. So, here the tight space will be available in that axillary array. Now, we compare these two array. Okay. So, that is a left side. So, that is a mid. So, here one array. Okay. So, that is a K. So, we compare okay. the left side and that right side array sub, sub array we can be compare 1 and 9. Okay. So, 1 and 9. So, here also one pointer is there left pointer here mid pointer. So, here also one pointer is there. Now, we compare 1 and 9. So, 1 is, one is smaller and 9 is larger. So, the 1 will be placed in the axillary array. First of all, 1 will be placed in the axillary array. So, now we move, move on to the array in the next position okay? because the 1 will be inserted in the axillary array. So, that is why so we are pointer position will be moved into 3. So, again we will check 3 and 9, compare 3 and 9. So, the again the 3 will be the lower one. So, the 3 will be inserted in that array. Then that position will be moved into that position. So, here the array pointer position will be moved into empty position. So, we compare 7 and 9. So, 7 is less. So, the 7 will be placed in the here. 
the pointer position will be moved one position. So, here that 8 will be moved into. So, that 8 and 9 will be compared. So, that 8 is 8 is uh, less. So, that is why 8 will be placed here. Okay. So, the remaining item. So, the 9 and 10. So, again, so the left hand side no array is there, no element is there. So, that is why that uh, whole element is placed like that 9. So, that is will be the sorted 9, 10, 12 and 14. Okay. So, that will be placed here. Okay. So, that will be the finally sorted array permanent, permanent. So, there is a final sorted array. Good morning, uh, myself Arun Shanmugam. Associate Professor, uh, Department of Computer Science Engineering. Today, we are going to discussing about uh, uh, design and analysis of algorithm, the topic of Marishad algorithm, right? So, the Marishad algorithm uh, coming under divide and conquer method, divide and conquer method. So, divide and conquer method in the sense a large problem can be divided into smaller sub problem, a smaller sub problem computed separately then finally combine the result. So, that is called divide and conquer method. So, now we are going to discussing about the Merchard algorithm. So, in the Merchard algorithm, so the list of element is given in the array. Okay. So, it is an unsorted array. So, the, the, the list, so totally 8 uh, elements is given, so totally 8 element is given. So, that is a starting point, that is a ending point. So, the list is divided into 2 equal parts. Okay. So, first of all the large list will be divided into smaller sub list 1, 9, 3 and 8. So, that is a left hand side this is a right hand side. So, right hand side also here 5, 11, 7, 6. Now, the left hand side is compared. So, here that element is again the list is large. So, the element is divided into smaller sub array 1, 9, 3 and 8. Again, the list is large. So, again it is divided 1, 9, 3, 8. Similarly, we do the right hand side. So, right hand side the list is very large. So, the list is divided into small. Again, the list is divided into small. Again, the list is very large. Then, 5, 11, 7, 6. Now, no more uh, division is possible. Now, compare, compare the results, right? Now, so 1 and 9 is compared. So, 1 and 9, so 1 is less. So, that will be combined like that 1 and 9. Then, 3 and 8. So, 3 is less, 8 is large, compare these two, so 3 and 8 is correct. Then we com combine the two sorted, so the list is merged, okay. 1, 3, 8 and 9. So, this uh, left hand side separately sorted. Here 5 and 11, 7 and 6, we compare 5 and 11. 5 is smaller and 11 is larger as already sorted. So, 5, 11 here 7 and 6, 7 compare 7 and 6, 6 is smaller, 7 is larger. So, 6 and 7. So, finally, we merged sorted. So, combine this 5, 6, 7, 11. These two sublisted array 
sub, uh, sorted separately. Shall I wrap this? So these are the sorted array. Okay, then now, so the new ancillary array will be introduced. So the new ancillary array having no elements. So here that is a left hand side pointer. Here that is a right hand side. So here I that will be J. So that will be K that is left hand side. So, I indicates the left position of the first array, j is a left position of the uh, second array. So, the k is a left position of the auxiliary array. So, now compare these two, two solutions, so uh, two arrays. So, 1 and 5 will be compared. So, 1 and 5, so the 1 is a smaller and 5 is a larger. So, here a of i less than a of j the condition is true ok so it implies so 1 less than 5 so the condition is true so that ith element will be um, placed into the new axillary array ok so the new array is 1 so 1 will be placed in that array so the pointer will be moved into the next empty position for here that k will be moved into the next empty position. First, uh, the left side array having uh, insert the element. So, that is why that pointer also moving one position. So, the left right hand side array as it is right. Now, we compare 3 and 5. So, the 3 and 5, 3 is a smaller one. So, that is why then the auxiliary array 3 will be placed similar that ok. Then, from left hand side we place the element so that k will be moved one position and i also moved one position. Now we compare a of i less than a of j, a of i less than a of j. So here that implies a of i is 8. So, a of i is 8, so 8 less than 5, the condition becomes false. So, that is why a of j will be placed in that new axillary array. So, here the array is like that 1, 3. So, here now place in the right hand side array, 5 will be placed. Okay. So, 5 will be placed here, that pointer will be moved one position, so that is j. Right, so <coughs> let's move on to the next empty position. Then it eight will be compared with six, so the six is less again. One, three, five, six. Right. Then here that pointer will be moved one position, right. So that is, so the 8 compared with uh, the a of 5 compared with a of j. So 8 compared with 7, so 7 is lesser. So that is why we move on to, we place the 7th element in that new array 1, 3, 5, 6, 7. place in the empty place. So, the summon will be placed in the new array. So, the jth position will be placed in the one. 
So now that a of i compared with a of j, 8 compared with 11, okay, 8 compared with 11, 8 less than 11, so that a of i element will be placed in that mu array 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, the pointer will be moved into next empty position. So, the 8 will be placed, so that pointer also moved one position. Now, again we compare 9 and 11, so 9 is less, so 9 is less, again the new array will be like that 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, only one portion is left out, one portion is left out. Here that a of i is ending, okay. The all the element in the left side, left hand side placed in that array, axillary array. So, only one element is left out. So, that is your final element. So, finally, the 11 will be placed in that axillary array. So, now the sorted array will be displayed. That is a sorted list. That is all. Thank you.